Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 18th through the 24th. Happy birthday, Aquarius. So what do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For the week of January 18th to the 24th, keep in mind that the timing is still fluid and not every tarot reading is for you. So what do we have for Aquarius? Judgment. So judgment is a judgment call. It's a wake-up call. It's an epiphany. It's an awakening. It's a final decision that is being made. It is the end of things. It's absolution. It's truth and it's karma. So we have some sort of truth that is coming out, some sort of facts, okay? Um, there could be a reconciliation of some sort here. Now, this looks like a mother and daughter, so I don't know why it doesn't focus like it's supposed to. There we go. Now it's coming into focus. So it does look like it's a mother and daughter. It doesn't have to be, but there's, a, there's definitely a coming together after there's been some sort of ending by the looks of things. Um, judgment is a card of resurrection. It's also a card of, it's the end of a trial. Okay, it's the end of a trial. It's time to forgive. Um, it is, it's, it's the end of things. This is a life-changing decision. Um, judgment, being judged. You may be judged. You may be judged by other people. Um, but this is the end of a trial. It's decision time. The decision is being made. Um, this is acceptance. If there's any kind of court or anything like that, it's going to go in your favor. If there's any, you know, legal proceedings or worries of legal proceedings, I think it's going to go in your favor. Or there's reconciliation between mother and daughter. I don't know why I want to keep saying that, but this is about mother and daughter coming together, being together. This is also an awakening of some sort, a wake-up call. Or mother and child. There could be a reconciliation between mother and child. Um, but it doesn't have to be mother and child. But that is, that is, uh, it feels like it's a reconciliation or it's a, it's a, something like that. And I, I feel like it has to do with mother and child. Very strongly, I feel that way. But either way, this is a chance. Somebody's going to be given a chance. Another chance. This is accepting the truth. Cain, pay attention to your health. Angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So there is some protection from harm. And the month of April is very prominent. So think back to the month of April. If it has, something may have happened last April or something is going to happen next April or any to any April of any year. April is very prominent. April, we're also going to see things blossoming, okay? That's when things are really, really going to uh, be beautiful. By April, you will be in a place where things are very, very peaceful. You know, that's when the turbulence goes away. If you've been experiencing turbulence by April of 2021, things are going to be much, much, much better, I feel that very, very, very strongly. You do have spiritual protection or spiritual guidance from an angel. You are protected. Do not worry. Do not worry. And this could be, the judgment can represent somebody that has passed away. That could be one of your angels. So there is somebody that is guiding you. They are protecting you. So, you know, keep that in mind. Also, you do need to pay attention to your health this week. Really pay attention to your health. Because you may be going overboard. Maybe you need to quit smoking or you need to not eat so much or you need to slow down a little bit. Uh, something like that. Pay attention to your health. So judgment. 
That is acceptance of the truth. Somebody is accepting the truth, seeing the truth, making a life-changing decision. That is the end of things. Judgment, if you think about Judgment Day, it's where you go up there and you uh, go over your life and you ask for forgiveness and you are accepted. So there's acceptance here. There's forgiveness and another chance. So somebody's going to be given a chance. There's also karma here. So there's some sort of karma, which is interesting. King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could also be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, could also be your energy. Page of Wands. Good news is arriving. You're going to be receiving some good news. Uh, this is going to be very exciting news. Somebody is going to act with integrity. They are going to do the right thing. They are coming forward with... Um, something solid. This is somebody that is very practical, that is accepting responsibility for their actions. So somebody is going to be accepting responsibility for their actions and it's going to go in your favor. So I feel like for some of you, you could be receiving an apology or you're receiving acceptance. You know what I mean? Um, whatever is happening, some good news is definitely arriving for you. It's very, very positive. Um, I think that you're going in a new direction, and I think that, that is, it's, it's exciting. I think it is exciting. I feel like you need to stay focused. You need to stay grounded. I feel like something that you started some time ago is now coming to fruition. You have may have received a an offer that you know, could lead to long-term stability. It could be even a long-term commitment. You may have met up with somebody or something that is very well suited for you and now um, you're reaping some sort of reward by the looks of things anyway um, this is a new discovery a new direction um, it's very very positive energy okay um, ha don't let any sort of fear get in the way have no fear Whoever you are working with or whoever we're talking about here, they are going to cooperate with you. I think that you, that you're, you may be worried about somebody cooperating with you. They are going to cooperate with you. Ooh, well, we have another person here that may not. Anyhow, we have a Queen of Wands in reverse. Just so this is... Uh, okay, let's get one more card. High Priestess. Now, the Queen of Wands in reverse is typically somebody that is very vindictive. Very vindictive, very forceful, very, very controlling. This person uh, is manipulative and gossips and likes to cause problems. So you definitely have a problem. You have a problem. Um, but you also have another person that is going to... Uh, I feel like this person is going to take your side, which is interesting that we have sides here. We do have a person that is very, very sneaky. This person is very, very secretive. They have some sort of tricks up their sleeve. So you've got somebody that has some tricks up their sleeve. This person is scheming. I think it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're scheming to take something away from you. So I think that you need to be very, very careful with this person. This person is jealous. They're jealous of your gifts. They're jealous of your spirituality. They're jealous of who you are. So you have a jealous individual here that, you know, wants something that you have. And it's not because they want this person or this situation because they love it. It's because of power and control. This is a this is somebody that is very pop problematic that likes control. This is a control freak, okay? This person is very very controlling and they want they want some sort of control. So I think you're that I think that's something you're going to be dealing with this month. I think it's an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. This person is miserable and misery loves company. So it's like, you know, when you when you're dealing with a miserable person, what do they want to do? They want to bring everybody else down around them. You need to stay focused, stay grounded. Uh it's not going to work. I think I feel like you can you can put a shield around you and you can protect yourself. You are protected from this person. So yeah, you do have a troublemaker around you that is going to try to I feel like this person is going to try to cause you delays. You know, they're going to try to cause you delays. They're going to they got some tricks up their sleeve. They may try to stop you from your success, but it isn't going to work out. They're actually going to fall. They're going to fall. They're the ones that are going to um, end up miserable out of this situation. 
You definitely have a miserable, controlling individual here that is jealous of your success. That's sad. It is sad. They do, and they want to bring you down. They do. They want to bring you down. They are so, so, so jealous of you. Um, yeah, I told you somebody had tricks up their sleeve. Absolutely, 100%. You are dealing with a manipulative uh, liar, somebody that will say anything, anything at all. You're dealing with a liar, and this liar is going to um, try to manipulate. They're gonna, and they're gonna, they may try to manipulate the other person and tell the other person lies about you to get them to, you know, see you in a different light. And I know this is interesting, but I think that there's another woman here, or there is a woman here. Could even be a man, but there is somebody here that is very, very manipulative. It could be a, it could be a man. It's a man or a woman. This person is very manipulative. They are very sneaky, sneaky. They are very tricky. They are a spiteful. So you have a spiteful individual here who, who may try to um, stop you from doing something. This person is abusive and they're feeling powerless and they want to take the power away from you. So get prepared to deal with somebody that is an enemy. This person is an enemy and they are going to try to take you down. And I know that is the case. They are jealous of your gifts. They they are. They are. I feel like you know who this person is already. You know who this person is. Okay. Um, whoever you are dealing with doesn't have any resources. They don't, and they act without thinking. They're very, very arrogant. Um, they're delusional. Okay. This person is delusional. They're arrogant. They're self-righteous. They feel like they're entitled. They're not entitled. This is a no for them. You know, they aren't going to get what they want. They're, they're, they're going to be upset when the answer is no. You know, whoever you're dealing with is going to tell them no. Okay, so you are protected. There is going to be some sort of, oh, I think it's a get together. It's a reconciliation between, or it's it's a coming together or acceptance of something with, you know, parent and child. I think it's parent and child. And I think there's there's a jealous individual who doesn't want that to happen. Whoever this jealous individual is, is going to be told no. They're going to be told no. They don't have the power. They have no rights. They have no power. So there's nothing that they can do. Okay. Um, Page of Wands. Now this is exciting news. Good news is coming for you. You're dealing with somebody that is accepting responsibility, that is doing the right thing, acting with integrity. This person is very, very practical and wants stability. Is looking for stability. Stability. They're not looking for, you know, they're not looking for the power and control that this person is all about. You know what I mean? You have somebody that is working against you. They have been watching you. They have been observing and reflecting, and they're and they're they're about ready to. I don't know. It feels like say something. You, you know, they're gonna say something very. This is malicious. You have somebody here that is malicious. This malicious person is about to get a wake up call. Trust me, they are. Because you are protected. Three of Swords. Now this is leaving the past hurts behind on the path to recovery. You are leaving this person behind and I feel like that's why they're doing this. They're hurting. You're dealing with somebody that is hurting. They see how strong you are. They see how spiritual you are. They see how self-sufficient you are. They see that you are gifted and they're, they're suffering. You're dealing with somebody that is suffering. They want to take your power away. This is like darkness versus light. You're dealing with a very dark person. And I feel like this dark person is going to be is going to be telling another person, trying to get this other person to work with them to take you down, but I don't think the person that they're going to that they're going to communicate with is going to go for it because I think the person that you that they are going to communicate with is loyal to you. 
they're loyal to you. So anyhow, um, I feel like this is a week of truths coming out. I feel like there is some sort of, well, it's a revelation with that judgment card. This is a life-changing decision that is being made. You have a very wise individual who is uh, very intelligent, that is smart, um, hard, hard-working, uh, loyal, genuine, um, that has learned some sort of lessons. This person is loyal to you and I feel like they are going to be giving you something against another person's will. I think there's another person here that is going to be very, very, very angry. Very angry. Um, they may even throw a fit. They may throw a fit, you know, something like that. Um, anyway. Someone from the other side is guiding you and they are, and you are protected from this witch. There is a witch here. This witch is is in a lot of pain and she is miserable and she wants all the power and the control she's a control freak and she doesn't care who she hurts because she's in so much pain this witch does not have any resources she's very arrogant and boastful and manipulative could be a Leo could be dealing with a Leo whatever is happening I do feel as though we have a breakthrough here we have a new beginning you may be going to a warmer place you maybe you this is a warm place it's happiness it's joy it's a yes answer it's fulfillment this is a breakthrough so I do feel like you have a new be this is the beginning of a new life. You know, somebody this is creating a new life. So there's a new life here. You are at the beginning of a new life that leads to extreme happiness. Do not let whoever this person is steal your energy. Be confident, be strong. Manage your feelings. Listen to your gut. There's whoever you got somebody here that is going to discover something about you. And they are going to try to manipulate the situation. And it's almost like if you think about the people people that do black magic which doesn't work it always goes back to them but whatever this is like somebody trying to instill fear trying to make you so scared that you don't follow through with your plans do not let them you will prevail you will because you are protected you seriously have a witch here. You do. You have a witch here that is trying to take away your happiness. They want just because they're miserable. This is a miserable bitch. I think it has to do with a child or children as well. And it's not because this person, it's not about love. It's about power and control. We got somebody here that wants the power and control. That's all, that's all it's about. Anyhow, I feel as though you will prevail. You you will be you will prevail. There's spiritual guidance, there's protection from harm. This person is going to try. They are going to try. They're going to lie. They're going to they're they're going to cause problems, but they will not prevail. One more card. Death. Whew. Death is an ending. It's a separation and a loss. This is a profound change. 
This is a separation and a loss with a new beginning to follow. You are headed down a new path. You are ending something with a witch. So anyway, Aquarius, this is the end of unhappiness for you because happiness is here to stay. You're moving to a better place, so you're you're headed towards the light. You know, that's the light, and then we get the sun is the light. You are headed towards the light. If you have been feeling unhealthy or you have been feeling overwhelmed or depressed or depleted, that's all about to change. Your health is about to get a lot better as well. Everything is going to go in your favor, and I don't say that often. You may have somebody here that has some tricks up their sleeve because they're so jealous of you. This trickster, they aren't going to get anywhere. They aren't. They don't have any resources. You do. All they have is mouth. So anyway, this is a week of ending a contract, and I say contract because we have the lovers on the bottom and reversed, with somebody that you are not meant to work with. This is somebody that you are not compatible with. You're not meant to work with this person. There's, there's no harmony. There's no peace. There's no serenity. It's just not meant to be. You are ending a contract, and you are, you're going to be happy. Okay, this is extremely happy with the outcome. You're leaving the past hurts behind. You're leaving this person behind. You may be fearful. You may be fearful of, you know, not getting the outcome that you hoped for. Don't don't hold on to that fear because you're going to get the outcome that you hoped for. You will be accepted. The answer is yes. Whatever the answer is, whatever you are asking, the answer is yes. It's yours. Good luck.